Uh, Haggis? Aye. Mutiny's a big step. Uh, are you sure you won't reconsider? Aye, lad, we're all agreed. We'd rather feel the spray of detangler in our faces than the spray of the ocean. How are the repairs coming? Well, lad, things could be worse. There's plenty of lumber on this island, so we'll be able to repair all the major holes in the hull. We'll also be adding a hardwood dance floor on the Lido deck. Nice. Hey, it's something we've been talking about for a while. You mutineers had best beware. Beware of what? Well, for one thing... I'll put a terrible pirate curse on you. Could you be turning Bill into solid gold, like your girlfriend? Yeah, I guess that's not much of a threat. No lie. Hi, that's a big bottle of lotion you have there. That's right, she be. And don't ye be getting any ideas about stealing it. We are sure to be needing it, you see. Carpentry on this tropical climate can and will prematurely age your skin. Tis but one of the many hardships a pirate must face daily during this barbarous age. Aye, and if we pirates didn't carry hand lotion aboard all our ships, we'd probably die from the chafing. <laughs> wow, if I were doing a history report on pirates and I included that fact, I'd get an A+. We're talking guaranteed A+. And that A+, just might get you into the college of your choice. Think about it. There's no way that I can have even a drop of lotion? Well, maybe we could make a deal. You see, we need to be repairing the ship. She's leaky as a colander. And for some unknown reason, the ship supplies of tar have been depleted. How the previous crew could set sail without any tar aboard eludes me. But the fact is, unless we get us some tar or something like it, we're doomed to this island for good. Hey, I'd give you the whole bloomin' bottle of lotion if you could find me something to patch the ship so we can be on our way home. I'll let you get back to work. It's a bottle of Captain Nick's shaving soap with a cork in it. It must have fallen from the barber's supplies when the ship wrecked. I feel a dark presence coming over me. Hi there. Ah! Ah! Please, keep it down. No screaming. Oh, my head. Hi, I'm Guybrush. And you would be? I am Madame Zima, mistress of the ancient arts of precognition and augury, diva of divination. Cool. You're a fortune teller. Ah, that and so much more. Whatever. Tell me my fortune. I do not think you wish to hear. There are things of which a man is better off being ignorant. Oh, but I'm already ignorant of so many things. I want to know my future. No, you are not meant to know. I bet you just can't do it. That's the problem. You can't do it, and you're afraid everyone will find out you're just a phony. You know, I could put a curse on you that would make every morsel of food you eat become a ravenous cockroach inside your intestines, giving you the most excruciating death imaginable. So are you going to tell me my fortune or not? I'm not kidding. Okay, okay. <laughs> What's in the cards for me? Fame? Fortune? Romance? Ah, very well. We will consult the cards. The process of reading the tarot is a very complex one. Each draw of the cards foretells an upcoming event in your life. When assembled, they will tell the story of your future. A future filled with twists and... Ah! Good Lord, woman, stop that screaming. What is it? Is that a good, ah? Uh... It is death. Well, in the tarot, death just means change, right? I mean, it's nothing to get worried about, right? I uh, sure, whatever you say. Now, please go. Look, a three-headed monkey. Ah! Then the prophecies were true. Where? 
I don't see anything. Hey, he must have run away. This is a very bad omen. There must be some mistake. Read my tarot cards again. There is no mistaking your fate, Guybrush. The cards do not lie. But if you insist, once again, it is death. I'm feeling luckier. Give me another tarot reading. Luck is not involved here, Guybrush. It is your destiny. Whatever. Let's see what the cards say this time. The card says death. Are you sure you're not dealing from the bottom of the deck? Remember that curse I told you about? Okay, okay. Hit me. Death. How many of those cards do you have, anyway? How about giving me one more tarot reading? This is evil work, Guybrush. The fates have conspired against you. And no man can interfere. Your path has been determined. Okay, I get your point. I really do. Just one more time for Guybrush. <gasps> Let me guess. Death? Leave this place. Huh? You are putting us all in grave danger. Your very presence will bring us nothing but sickness, tragedy, and death. Oh, yeah? Well... Demon! Demon! Madam Zima, I... Be gone. You will bring death to all who surround you. No good can come of this. Madam Eczema. Zima! Madam Zima! Madam Zima! Madam Zima! Drink grog. Hmm. It's labeled Good Soup Family Records. No thanks, I'm not that hungry. No, no, don't touch that. Oh, my head. Hi, I'm Guybrush Threepwood, and I'm a... Stop yelling. I wasn't yelling, I was just... Oh, I've got a terrible hangover. Find something to clear my head, and I can talk to you. And keep it down. Pirate Potables. Leave that alone. And turn down the lights, will you? 